Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos and sometimes tattoo related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I prepare sticker sheets from start to finish. I will show you the whole process from painting the stickers to scanning them to actually editing them uh, in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and all the settings you need to prepare them for print. So basically I wanted to do a cats in hats sticker sheet. So basically cats wearing crochet hats. I thought it would be a fun idea to add to my shop. And for the paintings I am using Prima watercolors in woodlands, Prima watercolors in vintage pastels and for the background I will be using Arteza metallic watercolors. Now uh, I will share with you the painting process on two of the illustrations just so you can see how I painted them, but it's not that important. The main thing you need to keep in mind is that you have a clear shape of how your sticker will look and have an overall shape that's easy to cut out in Photoshop if you're doing sticker sheets. There will be chapters throughout the video if you want to skip to one part or another, so if you want to see just how I edit them and scan them, then I will insert chapters so it's easier for you to find. So basically this is the painting process, it's nothing unusual to <laughs> what I usually paint. Uh, these will be mini originals for my Patreon, so if you're interested in receiving such things in the mail along with uh, products such as sticker sheets or notebooks or anything, then I will leave a link to my Patreon. So here I am scanning the illustrations. Uh, I use an Epson printer which has the scanner included. And I usually scan my illustrations at around 600 dpi or 1200 dpi. So as you can see these are the specs for the scanned document and basically I open the scanned document and start cutting out each cat and separating them onto different layers. I do that so that I can uh, easily remove the background and just leave the shape of the cat stickers. So I add a color to the background which will be something that is not very similar to the actual background of the illustration, just so I can see precisely how to cut the background out. To make the cutout I use the lasso tool. There are different ways you can do this, but for me it works perfectly fine this way. I tend to use this method because I can get a really clear cut of the shape of the stickers. And I also use a Wacom pen tablet to do this. You can also do it with the mouse, but it's it's just easier if you have a pen tablet. So I do this on each layer, cut out the background, and this will be important for the next step, which will be adding the stroke to the stickers. It's not a very difficult process. You can find tutorials online on how to cut out shapes in Photoshop. So here we have all the images cut out. Then I merge all the layers together so that I can edit the colors uh, play around with the hue and saturation. With the contrast and brightness, I add a sharpness layer to them and I also remove any imperfections that might have occurred during the scanning. So I, to remove the imperfections I use a clone tool um, and I also added some white highlights to the eyes and removed any pencil marks that may have remained. So this is basically image editing. I like my stickers to be quite bright in saturation and have a high contrast. It really depends on the type of illustrations you might like or the style you find that suits you the best. This is the way I edit my images. I thought it would be interesting to include this as well. So once I am done with all this process, I open a new file which will be the actual sticker sheet. Now these are the dimensions. The sticker sheet will be 12 by 15 centimeters and the image I have open here has a bleed around the edges of 2 or 3 centimeters, I'm not sure. I bring over my cutout and edited images into this new file. The file is CMYK, it's not RGB, that's how the printers where I make my stickers require the files to be. So the colors might differ a bit from the original illustrations and that's why I like to adjust them before. So here I am just playing around with the sizing and seeing how I can fit the stickers better onto the sticker sheet. I also added a title to the sticker sheet. 
So the next step is the most important step I would say uh, when I edit my stickers. I add a stroke to each of the images, quite a thick stroke. Now the stroke is kind of a contour that goes all around the image and this will separate it from the terrazzo background that I have going on here. I played around a lot with the colors, I wasn't sure what color a combination would look best on all of them, but then I kind of just copy the layer style onto each of the cat stickers, again playing around with the placements so they don't overlap. And after this I duplicate all of the layers which have a stroke to them and again I play around with the stroke. So on these duplicated layers I add a smaller stroke in the color red and I also add a color overlay in the color red. So this will be basically the shape of your sticker and when we transfer this image into Illustrator you will just trace out these red shapes and that will be your kiss cut sticker outline. Hopefully this makes sense, I'm not very good at explaining stuff like this. So here I am just finalizing the image of the sticker sheet. I played around with the colors a bit more just so they look nice and cohesive. I played around with the background again. I wanted to add more green to it. And once you are happy with the way the sticker sheet looks, you can save it as a TIFF file or a JPEG file and also save it as a PSD file so you have the editable version as well. So here I am just saving the image, as I said, a high quality JPEG. Uh, and after that I hide all the layers that contain the image of the sticker sheet and I just leave the layer with the red contours. Now this image you will need to save either as a PNG file which has a transparent background or an EPS file. I know I am not um, pronouncing this very accurately but you will see in the video. So basically you need them to not have a background or have a white background when saving the second image. So here we are in Illustrator which is a vectorial based program and I just open up my image with the sticker sheet and the image with the contours. Now for the contours I hit make and expand and I trace the image. And once uh, these shapes are vectorized you will have to hit the stroke to be a spot color. Now this is very important when preparing sticker sheets because that will be the cut line for the sticker sheets. So I just place each contour onto the image and that will be basically the way the machine cuts your stickers. Hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. But yeah, this is the easiest way I found that I can do the cut line. The cut line is basically the line in which the machine goes around the sticker. So it makes the cut, but not all throughout. So it's not a die cut sticker. It's just a kiss cut sticker. That's how they call it at my sticker making place. And Last but not least, I just play around with the shape of the cut line so that it doesn't have all these bumps and kind of make it more smooth. And yeah, that's basically the whole process. So it is a pretty tedious process, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy to do. Uh, I found it easier than to draw the outline in Illustrator for me personally. So this is my trick to making sticker sheets. And once you're happy with the way the cut line looks and the image looks, you can save it as a PDF file, a high quality print. And yeah, you have your sticker sheet and it's ready to be sent out to print. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know I'm not very good at explaining stuff, but I wanted to show you my process from start to finish. And yeah, you will find the stickers in my shop very soon. I will have a shop update somewhere at the end of the month or early March. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!